Hello, beautiful internet family. My name is Dan Davis, and I'm the creative director at danstube.tv, as well as the Fearless Drone Academy, which is the ultimate online drone course for beginners. And in today's video, we have got even more leaks from the upcoming DJI Mini 3 Pro. We recently saw an influx of leaked photos from both Deals Drone and Jasper Ellens. Both of them are on Twitter, so check them out. But just a bunch of photos just started leaking and we can now see the form factor, we can see the camera, we can see the sensors, and we can see the design of it, like how it actually sits on the ground um, and how it actually doesn't have those uh, front legs that we had on the Mini 2. So see how the legs just kind of sit on the ground here? The new Mini 3 looks like it actually sits uh, just on like these little rails almost that are underneath the body and the propellers kind of um, sit up a little bit. It's an interesting pose. Before I dive any further into this video, remember that all of this is rumor and speculation. None of this is fact right now. And we can take it lightly with a grain of salt, even though these leaks look pretty legit. But just remember, none of this is official just yet until DJI actually announced the Mini 3 Pro. Just so you know where these leaks are placed in the timeline of leaks for the Mini 3, because by the time I post this video, there might be even more leaks. But from what we can see, um, and these were leaks prior to that Dutch retailer accidentally leaking a lot of the specs that we'll cover in this video, but we got a price for the Mini 3. Again, remember rumors and speculation, but it looks like for the Mini 3, which is gonna be the bigger brother of this one, and then the new controller, which actually has the screen on it, that's gonna be 999 euros. Now for the Mini 3 Pro and this controller, because it actually looks like this is gonna be the controller offering that the Mini 3 will have, there's not gonna be another brand new controller, it's either the brand new screen design, which looks like the RC Pro, which I've done some content on the channel, or it's going to look like this one, and if you get this combo, it's gonna set you back 829 euros. The Fly More combo will set you back another 189 euros if you want the Fly More combo with the additional offerings and batteries and all those fun things. So that's gonna cost an extra 189 euros. If we look at these prices compared to the Australian dollar and the US dollar, 999 euros for the Mini 3 Pro and that brand new controller. So that's 999 euros. That's going to be 1,456 Australian dollars or 1,082 US dollars. So that's already quite expensive as it is. And then you've got to pay extra for the Fly More combo. This is going to be quite an expensive offering. Um, and a lot of people might consider other alternative drones, but the fact that the Mini 3 Pro is going to be under 250 grams is probably going to be one of the biggest calling cards for a lot of people out there. The most recent leaks are related to the specs of the drone. We still don't know everything, but we do have a lot more information now. The first thing is that the sensor is going to be a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor and it's gonna be capable of capturing HDR video. It will also be capable of recording 4K at 60 frames per second. So very impressive and a nice improvement over uh, the Mini 2 here. It's now bordering on the Air 2 kind of range. Obviously the Air 2 has a few more offerings, but the Mini 3 Pro could potentially be um, a very competitive drone, even though it's you know a little bit more expensive than the Mini 2 it's going to have a lot more features that people wanted and for under 250 grams which is going to be the most important reason why people all over the world are going to want to get it because it's going to allow them to actually fly their drones as there are some very strict laws out there that's why the mini 3 pro might stand out to a lot of people but like i said 4k at 60 frames per second is very impressive and something that i was kind of expecting that makes sense in the trajectory and the growth of this mini drone space to have 4k at 60 frames per second the apparently, apparently it's also going to have a 48 megapixel um, still photo capability. Now they've done this before where they kind of stitch uh, images together. So even though it's 48, it may be 24 and then they're just doubling it. They've done that with other sensors where it's been like 12 megapixels and they've increased it by four times. Like they've taken four photos and kind of stitch it together and created a 48 megapixel uh, photo. So it's not pure probably not going to be like pure 48 megapixels but still an impressive offering that we've actually seen from dji uh, with their air range and a, a few other drones as well as we would expect as well with those 48 megapixel stills it looks like we'll have raw capabilities which we had with the mini 2 so that's expected at this point um, and then on top of that 
It looks like we're gonna have a fixed aperture of 1.7. So the f-stop is fixed at uh, 1.7, which is decent. And um, yeah, again, quite expected uh, based on a lot of the rumors and kind of speculation that's been surfacing all over the internet. The other thing is it looks like slow-mo will be possible at 1080p um, up to 120 frames per second. Moving on to the obstacle avoidance, which by this point we kind of already knew, but it's gonna have three-way obstacle avoidance. So front, backward, and downward obstacle avoidance. And we're actually gonna have A-Pass 4. So we did have A-Pass 5 for the Mavic 3. A-Pass 4 is still relatively uh, new technology in the software space. And that's basically just a safety protocol to make sure that it can uh, bypass certain obstacles and objects in the environment. But A-Pass 4 with three-way obstacle avoidance is still very impressive for a mini drone. By the looks of it, we're going to have Active Track 4.0, which we've seen before on previous drones. Uh, the Mavic 3 has Active Track 5, but Active Track 4 is still great, and it's going to have the other modes that are available in the Focus Track mode. I've done content on the Mavic 3 on the channel, so similar kind of offering, but just not as advanced, and obviously less sensors for obstacle avoidance but still nonetheless very, very impressive in a mini drone. It also looks like the D cine-like color options will be available, which is more of a flatter profile for when you're capturing videos. Uh, this is something that's normally been reserved for the higher end drones. It's more of a flatter profile for people that wanna do something in post-production, but it looks like we're gonna get those uh, more professional offerings with the Mini 3 Pro. And I guess that makes sense why they've tacked on that pro name very rare for DJI to put a pro name at the end of a drone, unless it is really a pro drone. The other thing that looks to have been confirmed is that tilting camera. So apparently it looks like it can tilt up relatively high to give you some unique kind of shots if you're flying underneath something. And you can also rotate the camera 90 degrees so that you can capture those vertical videos as well. So it's gonna be very TikTok friendly, real friendly, YouTube shorts, all of those vertical video formats that have just taken over all of a sudden. Um, the Mini 3 is gonna be able to actually help like creators and um, social media like influencers really capitalize on the, their content game with this new drone. So that makes a lot of sense um, for people out there because otherwise you have to edit the video. This just avoids those steps, nice and easy. It also looks like we'll get digital zoom up to four times, which yeah, it, it is what it is. I mean, it's handy to have, but digital zoom just crops in the image and loses the quality. So it's not gonna have like a moving lens as such, but still it's something that I would expect and it's not really a surprise that they're gonna offer four times zoom. The other thing that's really interesting is related to the battery life. Now, from what we can see, it's gonna be a 34 minute battery life for the standard battery, but there's going to be a battery plus and that's gonna offer battery life of up to 47 minutes. That's insane. Apparently that's a thing. That's actually going to weigh over 250 grams at that point. So at that point, a lot of countries, um, you know, you'll have some issues with regulations because it's over 250 grams. But still, nonetheless, that is very, very impressive because if you want to use the Mini 3 Pro as a pro drone, then you can just whack in one of those batteries. And if you've got your license and if you're able to fly the drone safely and legally, then you can just put in that larger battery and get 47 minutes of flight time. But the standard battery apparently is going to be 34 minutes, which is kind of the range I was expecting. Now it looks like we're getting OcuSync 3.0, which is capable of 1080p at 30 frames per second. So that's the feed you're gonna be getting uh, to the actual, well, your phone. So you've got your phone on top of the controller and the feed coming in will be 1080p at 30 frames per second. Uh, OcuSync 3.0, again, um, is a little bit, like it's not the three plus that we saw in the Mavic 3 Pro. And it makes sense, you know, like it's just before the current I guess next gen or the, the current um, like top tier drone, which is the Mavic 3 Pro or just the Mavic 3. Um, you know, that has the OcuSync 3 Plus. It has the improved range. You know, it has multiple sensors. It has all those updated software options. So it looks like the Mini 3 Pro will be um, like on the cutting edge of it because they're still all amazing pieces of technology. Um, but it looks like it's just gonna be a step before the Mavic 3. The other thing that was really interesting to see was the overall aesthetics of the new Mini 3 Pro. So you can see with the Mini 2, I'm sure you've seen this design before, but you can see that there's little legs here that are actually propping the camera up so it's not scraping on the ground. Now with the new Mini 3, it still looks like there's not a major clearance. Um, so that means that the camera is so low to the ground that you're getting minimal clearance from grass and dirt and rocks and whatever else. So that's not the most amazing thing. 
Um, but what they've done, which is interesting, is they've kind of created just little sliders or rails underneath the body of the drone. And they're gonna act as the actual um, landing legs now. And you can see that the rear arms are actually like angled upwards and kind of tilted as well, which is very interesting. Uh, and then the front legs just kind of look almost like the, the Mavic 3 design uh, in the sense of just the aesthetic of the, uh, the front legs. It doesn't angle down as much as I wanted it to, which would have allowed the actual camera to prop up, you know, over rocks and dirt and whatever else. But it still looks like it's got tolerable clearance, which is fine. Um, and that overall like redesign of the body and, you know, the arms and everything looks very unique. It does have a new feel. It looks familiar and it's got a similar color and feel to the, uh, the Mini 2 but it's still got like a unique look to it, which um, I find really cool. So basically that was everything that was noteworthy from the recent uh, Mini 3 Pro leaks. It's looking pretty impressive. It's a very weird looking drone that a lot of people are not loving, but I think it's really cool. It's a very unique look and that's something that I actually wanted to see. I really didn't want to see the same exact design again. The fact that they're offering something unique with that 90 degree um, portrait shooting camera system. So you can take photos in portrait mode and you can also take video in portrait mode. I just think that's really cool. The fact that you can tilt up like parrots and naffy, how that allowed you to tilt up. Again, a very unique offering and something that does bring something unique to the table over the other DJI drones on the market because you can't do that with any of the current DJI drones. So that does create a whole new creative element to get some unique perspectives. And then the improvement to the camera system, all the new like software options with the tracking modes, uh, the sensors and, and all of that stuff, that's really, really exciting. And um, a lot of these were kind of mentioned or leaked, or we kind of had some idea about this a little while ago. Um, but all of this seems to have confirmed a lot of what we had expected. Remember, still all rumors and speculation. We don't know 100%, but it is looking very promising for the Mini 3 Pro. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I would love your thoughts in the comments below. If there's anything I missed or anything that you thought was a little bit more relevant or something that would have been nice to add, to this video, then let me know in the comments below. I can pin that comment to help other people and we can just have a discussion about the Mini 3 Pro in the comment section. Anyway, I'll chat to you in the next video. Peace. It's too late now to turn around and back again. I made my bed and now I lay my head in it. And I'm sorry I'm not perfect, but I knew that I wouldn't be. It's for the best, you know